going to be doing a bear mount today, quick and easy. Uh, the bear has been case skinned or pouched, so there's no sewing involved. The only sewing would have been a uh, uh, entrance wound. So what we've got here is a Reinhardt form purchased out of McKenzie. It's an eyes right form. Uh, it's the bear shoulder mount. What we've done is uh, the, the bear has been case skinned, salted, fleshed, salted, fleshed, then it's been put into a acid bath, uh, acid and salt, which is a pickling, and it pickles the, uh, the skin to accept the tan better. So I've got a wet bear right now that's been tanned this morning with Reinh again with Reinhardt's uh, tanning cream purchased out of McKenzie. And so I'm going to be sliding this bear up over the top. I'll show you how easy it is. Bear skin, tanned, ready to go. Slide this up over the top. All the relief cuts are made around the lips, the nose, anywhere we have to have a little tuck or a little definition of skin. Ears need a little bit of a clay. I'm gonna take about a size of a, uh, maybe a little bigger than a golf ball. Come up underneath the back side of the cape, and place it in the ears, right at the base. I'll let you mold it, get it into shape where you need it, help hold it in place. That's on that side and one on the other side. Okay. The ears back in place a little bit. Taking a sculpting tool, I like to place a pin in each eye, get it set before I start doing the lips and the nose. is with the eyes right form no fooling around once you've got the eyelid in place I'll bring it in a little closer just to show you where I place the pin and how it works like that in the corner of the eye and then one right where the uh, tear duct or that little gland in front of the eye is. I place one there. I'm going to do the opposite opposite side and then we'll go right on to tucking in the nose and the lips. Nice thing about these Reinhardt forms is there's no fooling around when it comes to the eye. Makes them out. Can't have one eye walking one way, one eye looking the other way. They're anatomically correct. I believe they're put in with a computer type design. Then all you have to do is over the next couple days, 
keep checking the eye just to make sure as the skin's drying that it's not pulling away or pushing away. You can place pins around it, whatever you have to do. But now, both eyes are done. The ears are almost in place where we're going to want them. We'll spin it around. We'll work on the nose and the lips. Relief cut was made all along the lips using a drill. I always start with the front. Get it into place where you want it. Push the excess skin up inside the lip. Then I work my way to the back corner. I tuck it in and keep working my way up to the front lip. Flat screwdriver. Tucks it in nice and Once you've got the corner of the lip tucked in, again, two inch upholstery pin. I like to put them in there just to keep that leather starts drying with your tan on it, saying that this is a wet tan, so you know that it's got a lot of drying to do. It'll start drawing back. You don't want to be looking like this, smiling at you, unless you're showing some teeth. Same as the other side, we've already got the front tucked in. Go right back here to the back corner. Pull it forward, get where you need to be, and slide it in place. Sorry if you're getting a look at that top of that head. Not much hair on that. And again, two inch upholstery pin, corner of the mouth. 